Because of an incredible wet and snowy winter, we have seen huge water releases from valley dams like we haven't seen in years. Yeah, including Bartlett Dam north of the valley. So much water has been released there this year. It's the equivalent to draining and filling Bartlett Lake three different times. Incredible. Troy Hayden got special access to the dam to see how it all works. So just incredible access up here today. We are on top of Bartlett Dam. Uh, construction was completed in 1939, creating Bartlett Lake. And I, up here, you can see Bartlett is almost a milk chocolate brown. And that bathtub ring you see on so many of our desert lakes does not exist. This is a very full lake. And this is a very interesting dam. Bring in uh, Ron Clowder from SRP. Come around here, Ron. Good to see you. Thanks for being up here today and bringing us out. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. So the first thing I notice here is this spillway is running, uh, and it was running a lot harder than it is right here today. Yeah, we were releasing about 30,000 cubic feet per second a week ago. Today we're releasing about 2,000 cubic feet per second. What is this? Explain to me what this is. Yeah, so this is a really important piece of infrastructure on the dam. This is how we survey. We, every three months we come out here and survey and make sure the dam isn't moving. So you stick something in here that a surveyor all the way across over here can read. That's right. So, so we'll have a little device that goes in this hole and we take very accurate measurements every three months just to make sure that that dam's not moving. It stays in a safe spot. You don't want a moving dam. No, we want the dam to stay in place and stay safe so we can properly route the big floods as they come. Part of the design of this dam and what makes it unique are, are the multiple arches here. And, and Corey, the, our photographer, is being able to get a look at this. And here's one of the arches right in front of us. And the arch, it almost seems like it's a tunnel going back underneath the water. I don't want Corey to lean over too far here, but that's on purpose, right? What does that arch do? So this is a gravity dam. So those arches that shoot back into the lake, they allow for the water pressure from the water sitting on top to push the dam into the ground. So the weight of the lake behind the dam actually helps keep the dam in place and keep it secure. So this is another great perspective, I think, over here, because we're right on top of the spillway now. Tell us what we're looking at here. So we're looking down at the flip bucket, bucket structure on the spillway that flips the water up as it's coming down. These spillways are designed to handle the largest flood we'd expect to see on the system. If you look, you can see these massive, almost bicycle chains up here that lower and raise these gates, right? Yeah, so these bicycle chains are counterbalanced and there's a really small motor, only about seven and a half horsepower that actually turns those chains and will lift these spillway gates. That is really something to see. That was Troy Hayden reporting SRP now uh, working on plans for a bigger, taller dam at Bartlett Lake. And that would expand the storage capacity to serve an additional 350,000 homes.